Hey guys, what's going on? So today is the 1.7 patch. I'm pretty happy about it. A lot of cool stuff in this patch. Also a lot of bugs. I've been seeing people making things with pistons and crashing their game, unable to log back in. Oh man, what a pain in the butt. So, I don't know, 20 episodes ago maybe less, maybe 15 episodes ago, I asked you guys your thoughts on me extending the storeroom, continuing the floor out into the other space where I had the single skeleton spawner. Well, I decided since, you know, I've really wanted to expand this out, that I'd just go ahead and do it. So I took down the wall, removed the spawner since I don't really need that single spawner anymore. I have the dual spawner going on. So this is what we got. It's a big area here. Added in more streams of water, more glowstone, continued the mossy stone theme at the bottom of these. <clears throat> now I was down to about two pieces of glowstone so I had to go to the nether to finish up the rest of these streams. I think I added four more down this way. Yeah, because the room ended right around here or so. So I had to add all these glowstone along the bottom, all the glowstone up here. So yeah, I pretty I went to the nether and I pretty much cleared out all the easily accessible glowstone. Still got 13 pieces left. I had about a stack and a half, I think. Maybe a full stack. Something like that, I don't remember. Uh, if you'll look at my inventory, I'm already set to make some pistons. I've been really excited to do this since I heard about the mod originally, but I kind of don't like installing mods. Just, you know, I'd rather play the game the way it's supposed to be played. Or the way, you know, when you download it, everybody can play it the same exact way without installing mods. So let's uh, make some pistons here. And I already checked the recipe and got enough here for two stacks. Oh cool, you can... They stack, that's what I want to see. Alright, so let's make another stack of those guys, just because we can. I have a lot of plans that involve pistons. It's going to be some fun. Okay, and let's make some sticky pistons with all the slime balls we have. Okay, that's gonna be cool. Um, another thing is shears. That's something I want to check out today as well. Uh, before we get into the pistons though, I want to show you what I did to the tree farm since we're in this general area. I took down the wall for that as well. Opened this up a little more. Replaced all the smooth stone inside with wood. Wood half steps, wood planks. Not a whole big change in here, but I thought the, the wood accents, you know, made it seem a little more fitting as it's a tree farm. Also, you'll notice that my staircase up is gone. When I was laying down this floor, it was right in the way. I think it was like right here or right here or something like that. So I get right, I got rid of that. And for now, this is going to be changed. I'm going to do something like a hidden piston staircase. But for now, I'm just cruise up one of these streams. So the staircase was like right here, I think. And I, I know that these... Uh, things of water were pretty close to this floor level here so I just dug down found it and kind of worked out well where this thing's placed um yeah I don't think there's anything else up here um I think what I'm gonna do right away is I'm gonna get some materials ready and head over to the mushroom farm because I've been wanting to hook up an automatic switch for that for a long time now we have pistons should be fairly easy to do as long as I know how to wire redstone properly. 
Let's just grab some things here. Don't know what I'm gonna need. Ah, there's sheep in the way. Let's try these guys out. Cool. Any more sheep? No. Oh. I'm gonna shear off some leaves real quick. Oh, that. Wow, that's real fast, too. Look at that hole in the world. Leaves everywhere. <laughs> All right, so I don't know what I'm going to do with these leaf blocks. Uh, let me punch down this tree real quick so we don't have a a stick just hanging out here. Oh, I know what we could do. I think. Do something like... Just... Just for fun, just to see if this will work. Have like a little hedge here. I think that should stay. I don't know how far away you can make that. Okay, let's give it that. I'm not gonna leave that there, I don't think. It looks like that's already gone away. So these are probably too far. That one's gone away, so it looks like three away. Okay. Mushrooms everywhere. Yeah, it's been a while since I've harvested these. Haven't had a need to. Okay, so we want to put... I guess we want to put it up here. Let's see. Hmm, I think I have an idea of what I need to do for this to work, but I've never done this before, obviously, so just bear with me. Okay, so this is going to be like that. Let's get some stuff here to make this thing work. Okay, oop, now I'm stuck. Okay, so that's going to be like that. Probably going to want to block... Oh, this texture's kind of weird looking. Probably going to want to block that off like that. We're probably going to want the source block of water on top of this. So when that retracts, the water flows down. Um... So I think in order to do that, we're going to need a block here, and then the water is going to sit on, sit in there. And at that point, I don't think we're going to need the ladder up here anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and start tearing this down. Okay, and then we want... Okay, so it only needs to come to there, I think. That won't work. That won't work. That won't work. Okay, so right next to it. Oh, I'm going to need <laughs> a way back up there to put water in there. Uh, let's. So, is that extended? Okay. So as long as that torch is lit up, that thing has power and it's extended. Let's see if we can... Okay, there's water in there now. I think for now I'm going to seal up 
these things because I don't want to harvest just yet. So in case I screw this up. So I'm not sure if we can, okay, so that doesn't work, no, okay, so I'm going to have to do like a, a torch on top of a torch all the way up, I think. Okay, so like that would work. Hmm, this is gonna be a little awkward. I'm gonna have to come back and repair this. Okay, so that's gonna be like that. suck at this, come on. Okay, so right now it's turned off. I don't know if I'm going to keep it like this, but I think a lever, maybe right below it, no. Okay, so that would, um, Yeah, I'm going to have to work out something better for this. Okay, I'll be back in a little bit. I'm going to try and find a better method to do this. Okay, guys. So that took a little bit of playing around. Like I said before, I really don't do a lot of redstone work, but I probably will end up starting to do it now that pistons are in the game because these have been kind of fun. Um, so what I did, <clears throat> I put the lever right above where you entered. I just simple flick will open it up and let the water flow. I still have this all plugged up for right now. Let's jump up here. Okay, so this one is right above where the lever is, and it just works its way up. And then this torch is where it ends. Now this torch is on and when the system's off so the piston will be extended and the water can't flow out and I have I move this up one more block so the water block is directly behind this cobblestone right here pistons under it extended in the off position and yeah this uh, it's gonna work pretty good oh. Oh, that was that was smart so I just need to come back here with some smooth stone clean everything back up but let's give this a test run. This is going to be cool. All these mushrooms back here have been washed away because I've been playing around with their waters ran back here but not through the the rouge yet. This is going to need something to cover that up too I think. 
I'm not sure what I'm. I might end up, you know, redesigning the front of this a little bit to accommodate the wiring and make this look a little nicer. But for now, let's uh, see how this works. Got the water coming through. And the water coming through over there. Yeah, that's that's nice. I like that a lot better than going up with the ladder. Those all shut down. Yeah, that's nice. Very, very nice. I need to add a piston into the tree farm so I can turn the water flow on and off in there. I might do that next. I'll clean this up probably off camera. Got some cactus. Still need to make a tunnel coming out here so I can get out here real easy by cart. Shoot. I'm not sure if I really like the shears. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's just another tool that you have to carry on you all the time. Skeleton. I don't have my bow on me. All right. I get some stuff put away real quick, and we'll jump on the tree farm. Okay. So I think for the tree farm, what I'm going to do is maybe have a pressure plate right here that you stand on which will release the it'll release the piston that'll be right here let the water flow down I'll have a block blocking this off so water can only go up and down not sure if that's gonna be the best way to do it but I think I mean if you're gonna be collecting stuff and you want water flowing you're probably gonna be staying right here because this is the collection point. Well, let's see how this turns out. So the piston is going to be right here. I'm going to need a way out of here after I put that in. Let's see. Things like that. Okay, let's put a piston here. Okay, so that's going to be like that. We're going to have water... I guess just right there. This will be blocked off. That'll be all blocked off. And when that's turned off, the water should stop. Okay. So in order to do that, I'm gonna dig under this. I should probably grab an axe or something, but we're not going to worry about that too much. Okay. Let's see. So this needs to be under there. Nope. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Let's block these up for now. I think I could just run a redstone line just under here and connect it to a pressure plate. Let's see about that. Not sure how far this goes, I think. A cave under me. 
Okay, so let's fill that in. It looks like that's probably where the pressure plate's gonna be. No, it'll be under this block. So we need to go one more like that. So we need some redstone dust. I don't know how many is that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Um, I don't think that's going to work like that. I think I need to do. Ah, uh, jeez. I think this needs to be something like. Oh, stupid torch. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I think that's all we need. Probably doing this all wrong. Need a pressure plate. I don't have one. Let's make one real quick. What do you know? It sounds like I got that right, actually. Okay, let's fill this back in. And there's my phone. Oops, that's going to need to be wood. The rest of this needs to be some smooth stone. It's like that. And I think it's this one. Yep. And so it should be this one. Okay. And then we're going down here at the collection point. Oh, I love it when stuff works. That's awesome. Okay. Now, I'm still not really happy with the way the water streams work. I mean, they do filter exactly where I want them to. They just, I don't know. I think they could look better. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. And you can just sit here, you know, after you're done with your tree farm, AFK, use the restroom, whatever you want. And then when you're done, no more rushing water sound. Hope that's gonna be a problem. Well, no, I guess if all your stuff's taken up, that should be. Yeah, that's fine, actually. Okay. Okay, guys. Episode's getting kind of long now. Um, did some kind of cool stuff today. Pretty happy with the way the mushroom farms turned out. I still need to clean that up a bit. Uh, I like the way this is set up now. Um, I think next episode I'm going to do some other cool stuff with pistons. I mean, this isn't all that cool. It's, well, I guess, you know, the automatic functionality is pretty cool, but I want to do some fun stuff with pistons. Not just, you know, adding water flues to things. Okay, guys. Um, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all my new subscribers. I've had quite a lot these last couple of days. I really appreciate it, you guys. I uh, hope I can keep you entertained and you'll stick around and stay with me for a while. Okay, see you next time.